absolutely beautiful. This is the first SUV that I can imagine myself buying because I actually wanted it. I think it is absolutely beautiful. Have a look at those lines. So when you first get in to these really comfortable seats, you'll want to start the kind of, here's your Jaguar symbol. That's the Leaper. The one on the front, as I said, is the Growler. You push the start button and nothing happens. Whoops. Except for the music comes on. What comes up is the home screen. Now you can probably hear the hiss of the, uh, of the air conditioning. If you pull this button here, you can then turn the button, you can then turn the fan down to whatever speed you want. Both of these buttons are multi-purpose. Multi down here are the various controls, drive mode, traction control, and on this side, that is what passes as a gear selector in a Jaguar I-Pace, because remember, this car doesn't have gears. All it has is forward, backward, and reverse. The middle screen is a multi-function screen and it does a whole bunch of different things related to climate control. So for example, this is where you sync your uh, temperature controls for either side, uh, put it into automatic mode, but I'm not gonna put it in automatic mode because, oh dear, oh dear, we've got, well, we've got, we've got World War III happening. Along the central part of the dash is a simple control for the radio on off and volume your stop and start button and the hazard flasher button. Everything else is inside this menu and you get to the page you want simply by using it like you would a phone. On that note, you can also plug your phone in and use Apple CarPlay. Hallelujah, Jaguar has finally got Apple CarPlay. Over here, we have the driver's instruments. On this LCD screen, displays everything a driver could possibly want. Media is over on this side. Everything related to driving is in the middle and then power and so forth is on the other side. Not that you can see it very clearly on here, but that heads up display oh, there we go. is on the windscreen look. On the windscreen you have details that you have when you're driving and you can change various functions of the car here on the steering wheel. This is Jaguar and Land Rover's new type of steering wheel. It's all very smooth with little buttons. It's just gorgeous. A scroll for volume, which you can see changes over here, changes the volume of the sound. And over on this side is the active steering, so the lane keep assist, and active cruise control. That's the speed limiter. But if you turn that on and off, otherwise it's active cruise control. You just press it up to set and off you go. It also has a cue function. As well as electrically adjustable seats, there are three memory positions with the buttons located conveniently at the top of the door. Normally glass roofs let a whole lot of heat in, but this is fairly warm considering this is a hot day, but very little of that heat's actually getting into the cabin. This is one of the few successful glass roofs I've ever seen though my companion reckons there was a little bit too much glare. With these screens, unfortunately because they're angled the way they are and the surface is fairly highly polished, there is quite a lot of reflection and the windscreen comes back a long way and it's possible for the sun to come straight down and hit on that and it's really difficult to see in full sun. Nonetheless, this system is a pleasure to use. As you can see, it's fairly quick to respond for a change these systems are as quick as you would expect your smartphone to be. Along the bottom here are fixed controls. You get to the home screen by pressing the home button, but then you can get to Bluetooth, music, telephone, satellite navigation, and this, the automated parking button. Press that and this Jaguar will park itself. I particularly like the soft feel of some of the surfacing here, and it's got a, a lovely pattern in it, as well as this signature metalwork. That looks really classy and it's on the dash and the doors.